Yet, and a crash that killed a passenger aboard a GRTC care bus. This happened Tuesday evening on I-64 near Short Pump. State police say that a pickup truck collided with the care bus while trying to merge. On your side at 6, Karina Bolster is live outside of state police headquarters with where this investigation stands tonight. Karina? Well, McKee, I've reached out to state police and they are expected to release an update sometime today. But right now they are reviewing video from the cameras aboard the bus. This deadly crash certainly weighing heavily on many over at GRTC. These care buses transporting many folks here in the area with disabilities. And we know many of these drivers have developed relationships with them as well. These are pre-planned uh, trips that are a part of that person's daily routine, their daily life. And our care drivers take that very seriously and have such compassion for our customers. It's why Tuesday's crash left many at GRTC in shock and disbelief. It's just so heartbreaking and uh, we are thinking about the passengers, loved ones and family. The crash happened on I-64 East, just past the Broad Street exit at Short Pump. State police say the pickup truck was merging when it hit the GRTC care bus, running it off the road. The truck then hit a tractor trailer in the center lane and flipped over. There's no word on how the sole passenger aboard the care bus died, but there are safety measures in place. If you are in a mobility device, just like on a regular bus, you are secured to the van. And if you are a passenger seated in the van, regular seating, you have seat belts. Police say the drivers of the bus and truck were taken to a local hospital for treatment. GRTC says it has multiple cameras both inside and outside the bus to help state police in its investigation. Meanwhile, Carrie Rose Pace encourages more awareness on the road as the number of crashes have increased during the pandemic. We at GRTC have also seen an increase in accidents. Uh, thankfully, the majority of them are not serious, but it but distracted driving has been a problem. Now, state police have not said whether or not distracted driving was a factor in this crash, nor if any charges would be filed at this point. Also, the name of the person who died has not been released at this time either. Live and on your side in Chesterfield, Karina Bolster, NBC 12 News. Thanks, Karina. A historic